Hey guys, and welcome to another video here in cloudwords.net. And this time we are going to talk a little bit about streaming. And obviously when you talk about streaming, we have to talk about Netflix. And in this video, I'll show you how you can basically get Netflix for roughly $3 per month. That sounds a little bit incredible and we need a little bit of tools to get us there. But once you've set everything up, it runs pretty smoothly and you can have Netflix at a cheap discount. If that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, give it a like, and we're going to see us after the intro. First and foremost, um, I'm going to do a little talking here at the beginning. So if you want to jump right ahead to the nitty gritty, go ahead and use the chapter marks in the description below. There's like uh, uh, there are jump marks that you can click and then you jump to the correct section of the video. Now, in order to make this work, this is certainly not for everyone because we need basically two different hoops that we need to jump through in order to get Netflix um, so cheaply. First, we need a VPN, a virtual private network. What does a VPN do? Well, a VPN basically tells a service or a website that you're visiting that you come from a different country. It basically masks your original IP address. So you could, for example, say, instead of sitting in Germany, you sit in the US or in some other country. And this is the principle of a VPN, not only protects your identity, it also obviously unlocks certain streaming services. And we've covered this in the past here on this channel where we showed you how you can get the Netflix US catalog, which offers much more videos, um, a much broader catalog than say, for example, the German or the UK catalog. It offers almost, I think, 8,000 titles, whereas the German catalog only offers 2,000 or 3,000. And there's like a lot of differences between the different catalogs. Now here comes the interesting part, no matter where or which country you use to sign up for Netflix. You get always the catalog in the country that you're currently in or for the country that you're using currently the VPN. And this is the principle that we're going to use in this video. We're going to sign up for Netflix in a very cheap country and we're going to get to that in a second right now which country we're going to use. And then we basically are not interested in the catalog of that country because it's probably not that good. But if you are based in the US or if you're based in the UK or some other country in India or wherever else, then you can make use of that and use the catalog in the country that you're currently in or continue to use the VPN to unblock the catalog in any country that, that you want or any movie that you want to watch on Netflix that might not be available in your country. You can also, if you like, cancel the VPN afterwards and then use the Netflix catalog in your country. For example, if you are already in the US and just want to get Netflix for the cheap, then this is also a great option for you because you don't really need the VPN, only just for sign-up purposes. Now in this video, I'm gonna use one of my favorite VPNs and you've heard me talk about it a lot here in this video. It's ExpressVPN and ExpressVPN is certainly one of the best VPNs out there. It's a VPN that we recommend on CloudWords that I recommend to my friends and family because it simply works. It's uh, easy to use, it's fairly cheap, and um, there are different plans that we're gonna talk about also in this video. But this is a VPN that I recommend, and if you wanna sign up for it, you can click on the link below. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee for it as well, so you're not running any risk of signing up for a VPN that doesn't work. Now. Then another hoop that we need to jump through is that we, unfortunately, when we sign up for a foreign country Netflix plan, which we're gonna do here, most of the time Netflix will block your credit card because you cannot or will not accept your credit card. It will not block it, but it will not accept the credit card if it's not from that country. Meaning if you have a US credit card or a German credit card or a France credit card and you wanna sign up for Netflix Thailand, you probably cannot do this because they check where you come from. There are algorithms in place that just avoid you pay by credit card. But there's a workaround. And the workaround is by purchasing Netflix gift cards. Yes. <laughs> now, important. You cannot buy, you cannot go into, say you're in the US, you cannot go into a US store and buy a US Netflix gift card and then go to Netflix Thailand and then use that gift card in Netflix Thailand. That does not work. So you need a gift card from that particular country. Now, 
Fortunately, <laughs> there are numerous services on the interwebs that offer this kind of service. I have a particular one that I like that I've used in the past. It's called MTC Game. And I'm also going to leave a, a link in the description and they offer a lot of discount, a lot of gift card codes in different countries for games, for different stores, and also for Netflix. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to sign up for the cheapest Netflix subscription plan I could find, which is Turkey. Yes, Turkey has the cheapest Netflix plans out there. We're going to buy a Netflix Turkey gift card. We're going to sign up for a VPN. We are going to connect to Turkey with the VPN. And I'm going to put a graph here so that you have an easier time understanding of, of what we do. And once we've signed up to Netflix Turkey, we can sign uh, to, to connect it to Turkey. We can sign up for Netflix, use the gift card. And then we have a valid Netflix Turkey subscription for and now here it comes for only $2.42 per month at the current conversion rate. And well, fortunately or well, unfortunately, depending on how you <laughs> how you look at it, uh, the Turkish Lira is actually quite low at the moment. So um, the US dollar is stronger against the Lira and that way we get this cheap subscription. So now i know this has been a longer preface but i wanted to just warm you up so to speak and if you figure that this is not for you you don't want to save um, that much money or it's not worth it to you then um, obviously you don't have to watch the video but the beauty is after you've used the gift card and basically your current the money that you have in your netflix account through the gift card if that is used up by the subscription so you're running to zero netflix will ask you for a credit card to add and at this stage, it's where you can add your local credit card information, no matter where you're from, whether you're from the US, from France, from wherever. And then you will use only the local, the currency conversion that your credit card offers, but you can still opt for the Turkish Netflix plans. Therefore, you don't need to buy any more vouchers, any more gift cards. So you can just have Netflix bill your credit card and that's it. You enjoy a extremely cheap, extremely reliable Netflix subscription. So in this case, I'm going to sign up for Netflix Turkey. I've heard that Netflix Thailand is also pretty cheap, but Netflix Turkey is, I think, by far the cheapest. But if you happen to be in Thailand and you want to sign up for Netflix anyway, you can buy a gift card there and then you, you can make sure that you have a cheap subscription. In this video, I'm going to talk about only about Turkey. Now, let's have a look at the current Turkish Netflix plans. So we have the basic plan, which is $17.99 Turkish Lira per month, which is currently uh, $242 US dollars per month. What does it include? It includes one screen in standard definition and download on basically one phone or tablet. So pretty limited. You don't have HD movies. Uh, I think you have only 720. So we have HD, but not 1080p uh, HD. Um, so it's a pretty limited plan, but for the sake of getting Netflix as cheap as possible, we're gonna focus on this plan because for most people it's enough, right? You just wanna watch all your movies, you don't care about like the super highest 4K quality, then this is perfect. Now there's a second plan called the standard plan. And the standard plan is uh, 29.99 Turkish Lira per month or converted is four US dollars per month. That includes two screens in full HD. You can download your movies on two phones. So it's a bit more, uh, you, ha you have more options, you have better quality, um, but it's uh, almost double the price. Then you have the premium plan, which is $41.99 Turkish Lira per month. That's the one I've signed up for. And this is converted to $5.60 uh, uh, US right now. You can watch on four screens at a time. You have full HD 1080p resolution and ultra HD 4K where it's available. And you can download the videos on for phones or tablets, which is pretty neat, obviously. Now, as I said before, this all sounds good, but Netflix does not accept credit cards from a different country than you want to sign up in. So you need to sign up for a voucher service to get basically Turkish Netflix vouchers. I've mentioned MTC Game before, and this is the one that I will recommend to you. Again, I have a link in the description box below so you can sign up there and use that service. 
Uh, for me, it always worked. You get the vouchers after uh, one or two hours. It takes a while, so it's not instant. Don't worry if you don't get your vouchers directly. They need to somehow, I don't know, verify it or whatever the mechanic is that they do. So you will basically get your vouchers and there are two currently at this moment, there are two options to get the vouchers. There's, an, there's a voucher for 100 Turkish Lira or 75 uh, Turkish Lira. And obviously that platform also needs to make some money, so the conversion rate is obviously not 100%. For example, now the 100 Turkish Lira is 1344 US dollars if you check the, um, the Google conversion, but they charge 1644. So you can call it like a $3 service fee, if you will. However, you will only need this once because once the credits are in your Netflix account, well, there you can basically use your credits until your subscription expires. And as I've mentioned already in, in the intro, that is where the magic happens. Now, Netflix accepts any credit card you throw at it. That's right. They're now basically pretty desperate to lose a customer. So apparently there's a little algorithm that kicks in which will accept your credit card no matter in which country it's registered. So now just uh, for simplicity's sake, let's look at the total cost for one year of Netflix with my method and the standard method. For this video, we'll be looking at the cheapest plan, but you can obviously compare that yourself for the more expensive plan. I'm gonna leave the links here in the description box below. So the cheapest US plan is also basic, but it costs $8.99 per month or $107.88 per year. Now with our method, let's look at what you pay. As we said, the cheapest Turkish Lira plan is $2.42 per month or $29.04 US dollars per year. Now, you need to buy the 75 Lira code for $12.33 US dollars, which effectively buys you roughly four months of Netflix. Then you can continue paying with your credit card and pay the regular conversion fee of your bank. So let's say four months of Netflix cost you $12.33 uh, $12 US and the remaining eight months cost $19.36 US, eight times $242. 1936. That's a total of 12.33 plus 19.36 equals 31.96 US dollars for the total cost. Now the only thing we need to do is add the cost of a VPN because as we said at the beginning, you need one to get a Turkish IP address so you can see the prices in Lira. Now, if you sign up with our top VPN, ExpressVPN, and go for only one month, then it's an additional $12.95 US per month. They do have a money back guarantee, so I'm just gonna leave it there. You can decide how you wanna use that at your own leisure, basically. So you'll add that to the 31.69 US. You end up with an annual cost of only $44.55 US compared to $107.88. Now, and that's only for the first year. Now in the second year, you'll only pay the 12 times $2.42 US dollars because you don't need a VPN anymore. You can basically connect to Netflix in your country, but still pay only for the Turkish subscription, so to speak. Now, remember, the Netflix catalog is based on the country you're currently in, not the one you've signed up for. Let me repeat that. You get the full Netflix catalog in the country that you're currently in, not the one that you've signed up for. That's why I'm using a VPN basically constantly when I when I use uh, when I use Netflix, because then I have access to all the TV shows. Everything I need is always there. And that's my process for it. Well, I know this process is not for everyone. It's a lot of hoops. It takes a while. It takes a little bit of fiddling. But if you're like me, if you like to play around a little bit and like to get into the nitty gritty of the things, then this is right up your alley. Let me know if you've tried the trick and how it worked for you. Do you also now enjoy a very cheap Netflix subscription? Let me know in the comments below and I'm happy to hear what you think. Also, keep in mind that Netflix might change the rules. I try to update this video 
on a monthly basis or so. So I'm going to update the description so you can see whether or not it's still this method is still working because they change the system all the times and it's like a game of cat and mouse between those platforms and the voucher code platforms as well. But anyway, let me know how it's working for you. Also, give it a like and subscribe to this channel and hopefully we're going to see us in my next video. Bye-bye.